I find every friendship, every merger I've participated in has required something in me to die so that it might live. Some part of me has had to burn up and be transformed so that the merger, the friendship, can live. I am not the same person when I'm in love. I become something greater. And the parts that pass away sometimes are things I've been very fond of. Have you ever been in a relationship where something you really always love to do doesn't serve, the, serve being with that person anymore? I've had it happen so many times, I just come to expect it. If we're going to be friends, I'm not going to be able to be who I was before we started this venture. My experience is that I owe a lot to every person who preceded me, every life current that has been present on this earth that has sustained something magnificent. It is available to anyone. And I wrote a note to a friend of mine this week that sometimes I feel really privileged with the life I have and what I know, but then I realize life is giving it freely. And anyone interested can be a portal and a generator of that same current. But I, I have, I've been in a lot of situations where I wasn't paying attention to where the union was and how clear I was in the union. Anybody else have it? Well, anybody here been divorced? <laughs> anybody here at a relationship end? It's not necessarily because there wasn't something wonderful at the beginning, but because the fineness wasn't able to be sustained, something else started happening. I, I've had many experiences where I wondered, how did that happen? Was I not paying attention? Or was it just a learning process of who I am, figuring out what I'm supposed to do next? So what are we creating now with regards to our our communion with another person. How are we merging? How are we caring for our mergings? We have a program here called Full Self Emergence. A person emerging into their selfhood. But we also have Sunrise Ranch, which is the emergence of a collective body doing that together. And I would like to say anyone who's online, on that camera, on the phone, Anyone who reads these words afterwards, anyone who knows this experience is participating right now in the emergence of a holy family and a holy body on earth. And one of the ways in which we care, we create more of that substance and more of that atmosphere is, for, is by caring for each other and allowing ourselves to be the blessing machine we're designed to be. To continue to, every time you put out a blessing or an experience of loving another person, every person who's connected on your line is going to be blessed. It's just the way it works. It becomes like this living mass of substance. And as we're pouring it in, the people on the camera, the people on the phone, the people on the computer watching this, it's all part of the same corporate substance. This is the experience I know in my life is the communion and the merging of the reality of me with the reality of love. The reality of life is the manifestation of the reality of love moving through forms. <laughs>